In this video, we are going to look at how to place a steel elements into a uh, pro structures drawing. We are starting with an already uh, started structure where we're just going to do the front bay, which is going to be one story high. Now, in order to do that, we are going to need to use the pro steel task called shapes to insert our shapes. So when we open this dialog box, we can see that it gives us an option to select whatever shape size we want to insert. And we're going to start by inserting the two columns on the two lines that we've got at the front bay here. Now, our columns are going to be 14 by 90, so we're going to need to look for those under the W shape sizes. We go for the 14 by 90. Now, once the shape is selected, we need to adjust a few options here if needed be. In this case, I need to change the insertion point to be the center of the element since this is a column. I don't know about the orientation. Uh, I'm going to see that once it comes in if I need to rotate it or not. But I do know that this is not going to be a beam. This needs to be a column. Let's use column main and same thing for the description. So this needs to be a column new primary. I am now ready to insert this shape. Now to insert this shape, I'm going to use the standard microstation snaps, two points, and I'm going to go from the snap point right here all the way up to the snap point up here. This automatically inserts my first column. The orientation seems to be all right, so I just left click and I'm ready to insert the next shape. Notice down here it's asking me to insert the next shape. So I click this point and I click where it needs to go and my shape again is inserted. If I want to rotate, I just right click or I accept with a left click. So I accept and now if I don't want to insert a new shape, I just right click again and I'm back to the dialog box. Now, as I said, I could rotate these shapes afterwards. As we can see here, it's giving me the rotation. Rotate them back. I could change their size. I could say instead of a W, uh, I could say I want it to be an M. So notice how this is changing to give me whatever element I've just selected. If I want a WT, obviously go to a bigger one so we can see it automatically syncs both. Now I'm going to go back to the element that I had, which was a W14 by 90. So there are my two columns. Once I'm satisfied, I can use this button here to actually disconnect from those two elements, allowing me now to change these without affecting the elements that are inserted. Now I need to insert the beams. Now before I do that, I'm going to enable this tool here, which is going to allow me to snap to the endpoints of the elements and to filter through the pro steel uh, or pro structure snaps, which allow me to go to the nine points on each corner and each midpoint of the element. So I'm going to click on this and now I'm going to go and select uh, the beams are going to be actually bigger. Those are going to be 18s by 35. All right. Since it's a beam, I change this to the top of steel. And this is not a column anymore. It's going to be a beam main and being new primary here. Now these, by the way, are going to be used for 2D drawing production later on or for display filtering. So right now I'm just assigning them to be ready for later on. And now I'm ready to insert using the same tool, the two points. If I don't go to a shape, notice I still get the microstation insertion points. But if I go to a shape, notice how it's a snapping to actually to five different points along the length of the shape. And the reason why it's giving me these five different points is because of the key point snap, which is set to four right now, which means four segments. If I change it to two segments, I only will snap to the center point. See, center and the two edges. Now this allows me to pick this point without needing to zoom in close enough to make sure I'm at the intersection. And if I go here, notice how this is two columns on top of each other. So that point is also going to be the end of the highlighted column in the center point. So that is perfect for this beam insertion. I then go for the next. So I just make sure I pick the beams close to the edge. So it actually gives me the snap point on the top. And I am done with these elements. I can right click to cancel out, come back to the dialog box. Now what I need to do here is I'm going to disconnect from this particular shape. I'm going to keep the same size, but now I'm going to put a beam in here, which is going to be a secondary beam. So I'm just going to change this to be secondary beam. 
keep the same size and everything and just say two points again and now I can go to that point I know that point is the middle of that beam and I go towards the other edge to that point which I know is the middle of that beam and there is my secondary beam inserted now the next elements I want to insert are going to be smaller so I'm going to again disconnect and this time I'm going to change these elements to 12s by 22 so I find my 12s by 22 and these are still secondary beams this is all good I'm ready to insert but before I insert I actually am going to go to my key point again and now I'm going to change this back to four segments because I want to be able to snap to these three points now so I've got access to these so I click the first point and I simply go to the next point over here perfect I accept I go to the next one and notice how I don't really need to really pick a point I just go close to the beam and it magnets to the proper point now the next step is to do the other three so I pick the first point and because this beam has been connected this beam does not have the same length as this beam so I cannot really go to that point because it's not going to be perfect so I simply force myself to be perpendicular and then I know it's going to be perfect and I go to the next one so from the middle perpendicular to that point perfect and the last one from that point perpendicular to that point and just to show you see how that point is there and this beam is there so they're not exactly in the same place because this beam is a little short and this takes care of this video about shape insertion